Why do flat earthers like to fail so much? I've been pondering this question for the last week or so, and I think I've finally figured it out. They can't bloody help themselves. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Yes, it is episode 18 of the famous Flat Earth Fail compilation. The content continues to pour in for them. But before we get started, a quick thank you and nod to the sponsors of today's video, Mac Weldon. Mac Weldon is better than what you're wearing right now, period. They believe in smart design, premium fabrics and simple shopping. They really are the premium essentials brand. Socks, shirts, hoodies, underwear, polos, active shorts. Mack Weldon promises comfort and consistent fit. And I can guarantee this, I purchased a pack of underwear and this polo top. The underwear is genuinely the most comfortable underwear I have found that I can run in, and trust me, I've tried a lot. But this polo shirt is the difference for me. Compared to essential brands I've worn before, the quality and comfort is unmatched. And Mack Weldon wants you to be comfortable. If you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can keep them and Mack Weldon will offer you a full refund. No questions asked. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash SimanDan and put in the code SimanDan. Right, back to today's Flat Earth Fail compilation and we're going to start with Mr. Ball Earth is Ball, Dean Wright. Good afternoon guys, you Knight here, down on the coast. Going to show you a couple of flat earth proofs here today. What we've got here is an island and it's sitting about three miles away from my location, okay? Now what I'm going to do is stand back a bit because the water's going over my feet. Ah, Dean, that's not good. Stand back then, come on. Going to go three miles. Six mile, okay. Don't forget these are all sitting on an apparent horizon. This is the point of this video, is to show you how uh, the horizon is where your eye gets drawn into. There's your six mile. I'm gonna pan back a bit. There's a wee boat there. Gonna keep panning. That's a three mile marker there. Right, this one here, it's about 15 mile away and it's sitting on an apparent horizon and I'm going to keep panning left and there's a boat. Wow, he likes repeating the obvious, doesn't he, Dean? So far though, he's not proved anything other than the fact that there is a horizon. There. Let me just pan back just to sort of get some perspective on how far away it is. I'll pan back in again. That's probably looking at about 10 miles away. Probably looking at 10 miles away. Probably. Brilliant, Dean. So I'm going to go, and it's sitting on an apparent horizon again. Here we go. I'll keep panning. Three mile. Six mile, all sitting on a apparent and apparent horizon line. And again, three miles away. Just the geometric horizon doesn't exist, guys. The Earth is not a ball; it's a flat and stationary plane. And evidence of it like this just shows you exactly what we're living on. No, it shows that there is a horizon. No one is disputing the fact that there's a horizon. You can see all those things because they're relatively close to you. Really don't understand what Dean is rabbiting on about here. Let's move on to our second fail of the day, and it's Mr. Level Earth Observer, friend of the channel. He thinks that the ISS and the space shuttles are models. Just a quick one today. We're on the Soyuz rocket, apparently. We've just departed the ISS, we're looking back at the international pantomime stage and we can see the shuttle is docked there. We're now going to look at this official footage as the guys in the Soyuz prop zoom in on the ISS and we're going to pose the question, 
is this real or is this just a cheap tacky model let's have a look yes because if you wanted to fake it you would use a cheap tacky model wouldn't you Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, no offence, if you want to believe in this stuff, you carry on. I was a space fan. Believe you me, I loved it. 1977, I sat in the cinema at Gloucester, popcorn flying everywhere, as I'd done everyone's head in around me as I watched Star Wars there. Well, Star Wars isn't really the same, is it, Elio? So for me to find out all this is nonsense. Trust me, it was a tough pill to swallow. But the truth is the truth. Now, when we're looking at this ISS, to me, this just looks like a fucking airfix model. I mean, look at the shuttle. It's just an airfix model, a toy. Look at the state of this. Here is a picture of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on display from the rear. It looks almost identical to the image from the Soyuz video. Take a look yourselves. I don't want to influence your decision here, but if you're going to ask me, we've just zoomed in on a model here. I could probably knock something up better for 40 quid. Highly unlikely, Leo. I mean, do try, it'd be fun seeing. Let's carry on. I mean, look here. Official footage. So I'll pose the question. Is that real? Yes. Or is that just a cheap, tacky model? No. You tell me. He really is incredulous, isn't he? Right, let's continue and move on with Mikey Smith. You remember him? He's the guy who thought he could shine his laser on the moon. He's released a video called Simon Dan Takes Cheap Drugs. Charming. Good day, good day, folks. We are going to explain how Simon Dan has everything wrong. Oh, this looks good already. According to his model, the sun is over here facing this way. People in Australia, underneath the ball, of course, are facing this way so why do people in australia let me grab the phone here why do people in australia look above their heads to see the sun well there's this thing called axial tilt mikey here during the southern hemisphere summer the globe is tilted towards the sun also, there is this thing called rotation. So they don't always look above their heads. A lot of the time they're looking near the horizon at the sun. Simon Dan, are you upside down on your spinning ball? And I would say, no, you are not. And I would too. Being upside down is a local perspective. And of course, gravity means that those down under are actually the right way up. Because you do not see this in reality. I'd say. I would stop with the cheap drugs, whatever drugs you are taking. Because the sun on your model is over here facing this way. That's why everybody on earth, on the flat plane we live, we look up. To see the sun in the sky. Everybody on this earth, flat plane, looks up to see the sun. I will take this very slowly so you can understand. Okay, Simon Dan? Okay, but what about when the sun is on the horizon? They aren't looking up then. You've literally debunked yourself. You are not upside down in Chile or Australia on your ball because you have to look this way in order to see the sun in your sky and you do not see this in reality folks completely agree 
Well done, Mikey. You are mentally ill if you think you are hanging to a ball, because if you weren't, if you were on a ball, this is what you would look like. You would be falling off your ball, would you not? How does Mikey get through his day? And please do not repeat the theory. I will repeat theory of gravity. Germ theory is a theory too. My point being that Mikey doesn't understand the correct definition for theory in science. Gravity does not exist, you boneless bitch. All right? Uh, you can keep talking about our Flat Earth channels all you want. We want to thank you very much for all your... Um, Constructive criticism? Uh, all your advertisement that you do for our channels, and we thank you very much for all your insanity. Well, that's not worked out well for you, has it? Uh, but thank you, and keep displaying our wonderful truth facts that we have on the plane that we live because you do not live like this in Australia upside down. Indeed they don't and no one claims it either. Right let's move on to our final flat earth fail today and it's a bit of a new flatty. Rachie 0000 has appeared a few times in my comment section and she's finally made a video. Judging from her accent it sounds like she's from my fair isle as well. Oh well. People say things will not disappear on a flat earth, that it will not drop below the horizon. Let's see. Let's see indeed, although a hard floor in your house or flat isn't really a good comparison. Well, that's a fail straight away, isn't it? Gum. Um, you're using your phone and some pennies. The floor might not be straight. But there's no refraction. Need I go on? Increasing elevation. Visible. Decreasing elevation. What do you know? Gum. And this proves absolutely nothing. Well done. Let's try two times zoom. Okay, we can clearly see them. Let's go down in elevation. Interesting. Gum. Interesting indeed. I call dodgy flooring. Let's go up in elevation. And down again. This is in two times zoom. Come. Okay, let's try increasing the zoom a little bit. Uh, we're on 4.1 times zoom. Let's go down in elevation. Hmm. Come. Doesn't matter how many times you'll do it, your floor will still be crooked. Look. I tried it too on my kitchen floor and the results are interesting. If you look closely, the coins are still there. They are just so thin that they blend in with the dark line behind them. As I said, dodgy floor. Well, there we go, another glorious selection of fails for you to witness. They never learn, do they? Bless them. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, just enough time to once again thank Mac Weldon for sponsoring today's video. Remember, visit macweldon.com slash simondan and use my code simondan to get 20% off your first order. If you enjoyed it today, then please don't be shy. Like the video and subscribe as well if the feeling takes you. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you all on Tuesday for some more premium tinfoil fun. See you then.